It's just, uh, it's just pure ugliness, and I see that ugliness on the inside, I see it on the outside. You know, even in, in, in the horrible circumstance where an abortion may happen, it is nothing to celebrate and it is nothing to cheer. Mm -hmm. Is it safe to say that based off of your comments, you're suggesting that these women at these abortion rallies are ugly and overweight? Yes. What do you say to people who think that those comments are offensive? Be offended. What offends me is this troglodyte used his platform as a politician to launch personal attacks against individuals. Matt Gates was doubling down on a gross attack against pro-choice activists, including Olivia Juliana, a 19-year-old activist he singled out on Twitter. A grown man body shamed a teenager to his 1.4 million followers because she had the nerve to push back on his fat phobic comments he made while speaking at the Turning Point USA Summit. But little did he know, he picked the wrong fight. This is Rebel HQ. I'm Sandy Lovas. It's hard not to feel defeated at times seeing what politicians get away with. It feels like no matter what we do to gain ground in the fight for rights, we're being dragged down and need to fight to get back rights already granted. It can make a person feel drained, tired of not seeing any real progress. Then a story like this popped up and we got to watch a horrible man be annihilated right before our eyes. What Matt unintentionally set in motion was a much needed positive boost to re-energize our movement. Olivia wasted no time quote tweeting, Am I not a little too old for you, Matt? I know you have a thing for targeting teenagers, but 19 is on the cusp, don't you think? And not being intimidated by him at all, replied directly to his tweet, Hasn't obsessing over teenagers gotten you in trouble enough already? Oh, that must have... that must have hurt. Olivia then made this TikTok video to let him know his misogyny and male privilege wouldn't be able to protect him this time. The video quickly gathered over 1 million views. This Beavis and butthead ass Republican politician did not just come for me on Twitter. Oh, but guess what, Manny? Guess what, Manny? I'm not the one. You want to rumble? We can rumble, bitch. <laughs> I wish Democrats had a tiny fraction of the fight and boldness she has. Olivia used her newfound attention to do something truly inspiring. Well, Matt Gates, I have to hand it to you. I didn't think you cared about us abortion rights activists, but your spotlight on me has helped raise 50k for abortion funds in the last 24 hours. So I made a special thank you card. It almost feels like Matt is pro-abortion. Dear Matt, although your intentions were hateful, your public shaming of my appearance has done nothing but benefit me. I have gained a substantial amount of support across platforms, and now, because of your your hatred. I've also helped facilitate 50,000 in donations to abortion funds. Your hateful comments towards me will quite literally help pay for abortion services. LOL. Get wrecked. Sincerely, Olivia Juliana, a proud abortion rights activist. I should note, this tweet is a couple days old. So where's the fundraising at now? Hi, we're Gen Z for change. Two days ago, Matt Gates publicly body shamed our political strategist, Olivia Juliana. She took the opportunity to do something tangible and her action helped raise more than $300,000 across 50 abortion funds. Hell yeah. Olivia didn't let Matt's deliberate attacks silence her. She didn't back down when he attempted to shame her to millions of people. She took bold action and exposed him for the petty man he is and did something that will make a difference. She's an inspiration and she's just getting started. For more of my stuff, look for me on social media as left of the box. Don't forget to hit buttons and leave comments. Thanks for watching. And until next time, get informed, get involved.